hey what is up guys welcome back to another elden ring video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get the dung eater summon yes this is an amazing an amazing summon and if you want to know how to use it and all the different type of skills head over to this video in the description where it shows how broken this dung eater summon is it probably i mean it could be a, a better match than the mimic itself and other um summons that are in elden ring but before i get started i want to ask you guys for a big favor to please like the video as it helps us out with the algorithm now if you want a summon now guys i need to make sure that you guys follow exactly all the steps that i'm going to be showing you because to a point you might miss out and if you do it the wrong way you are not going to be able to get this summon so let's dive into the video and let me show you what you need to do step by step to make sure you get this dung the eater summon so let's start off the quest and we need to come to the grace table and in here we need to go see where he is exactly and start off the quest remember this is this quest will um start once you cross the well section where the two medallions you need to show so what we need to do is right now we need to go locate one seed bed curse to be able to give it to him so he's going to be providing us with a key that we need for our next section as we progress to the dung the eater quest remember like i said this quest is two to three parts and you need to make sure you completely you complete them exactly the way i'm showing you guys because if you don't you're not gonna be able to get this puppet so we get the seed bed and then we what we do next is we're gonna go back to where he is we're gonna you know he's like oh okay you got it blah 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 we're gonna provide it to him he's gonna give us the sewer uh, gale key and then we're going to go to this section here where you see for the avenue um, balcony we're going to go down here follow my lead is the easy and best way to get there take care of this foe out of the way get out of here and we continue down our way and we're going to go through here and we're going to go under and then from here we're going to jump go inside here uh, drop down and through here we're going to face a few rats not a problem poisons uh, flowers and things like that but it's nothing of a big deal so we're going to cross through here and we're going to keep going down and we're going to make a right turn and we're going to go straight 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 and then we just keep going keep going and um gets a little dark so if you need uh to see better just you know pull out a uh torch or something like that and here's a grace period that we're going to come to uh because we uh just to make sure you know when we die we just can come back here and then uh we don't have to restart the whole way from the beginning so we go down here and we go through here and we're going to make a quick left sharp left okay so you won't get as much poison and then go up this ladder and through this uh, ladder next we're going to see where dung the eater is at and um pick up me see i died and i was able to come back easier so there he's smashing his head you know saying i'm gonna kill i'm gonna kill but anyways so what we tell him and next we need to go back to the grace period on the table round table and and read this section here we get this message and next thing up we need to go to where i pointed that is where we are going to be facing him off and what we're going to do is he's going to summon from the water itself we're just going to kill him um to make sure that um he's going to give us an awesome weapon if you don't have it it's dung eater weapon is really good weapon really strong if you want to get them of course you're going to get it because you're going to defeat him so right here what we're going to do is uh sometimes it takes a little bit longer i was lucky and he spawned really quickly so just walk around and then all of a sudden he's just going to appear out of nowhere and it's going to say invaded or something like that on the lower third of the screen and then after that what we're going to do is see that invaded by dung eater uh, we're going to take care of him kill him he's not very hard to kill so that should be a very very easy kill for you guys then we're going to go back 
to where he is. And then after we talk to him, next, we need to go to this section where I am pointing exactly, let's see, yes, right here. So from here, we're going to go through here and make sure you don't die once you jump. And we're going to go across what we are going to locate here is we're going to get more seed beds um, for him. Um, so we go through here. Um, uh, we go inside the castle once, you know, it's burned through the story itself. It looks kind of weird, but you know, I collect anything that you guys want along the way. And then from here, uh, we go down, down, down and where he actually was. But since it's the quest line, we get the seed bed. We collect it. And then our next one is um, we need to go to the volcano manor. So what we do is talk to her. She's going to give us a key. She likes to talk too much. So, you know, let her talk. Anyways, what can we do, guys? What can we do? Anyway, so she talks, talks, talks. And then, you know, give us the key. Give us the key. So once she gives you the key, then we're going to go to join Volcano Manor. And then he's going to get she's going to give us the key. And then what you need to do is travel down this way. And you are going to open up this door that is here. And then inside the door, uh, there's a couple things that you can collect as well as um, there is a hidden wall right there that actually you don't even need to hit it. As soon as you get close to it, as you see here, it kind of like open, opens up. So go down through here, kill any enemies that you need to. But there's a few that you don't want to mess with. So just kill the ones I kill. Because, I mean, if you mess with that guy, where is it? Where is it? No, it's not here. The slug is okay. But the, uh, around here is uh, one that, this one. This one can take you out easily. So let's not mess with him. Let's just keep going. And then we're going to go to the uh, point. And we're going to go this way. Just follow my lead. And we're going to go to actually there. So what we need to do is go up on top of the roof, take care of any uh, enemies that you see along the way. If you need to, I just took care of them anyways. It was easy for me. So boom, boom, bing, bada, bing. And then we're going to go this way. And then uh, we're going to, oh, see, I got hit again. So from here, we're going to go that way. So we need to go up, up there. So the best way to go is you need to go down here and you go up from here. You need to jump in this section. And then just follow along, guys. I know maybe I'm showing too much details, but trust me, there's a lot of people here in the community that still don't know how to get around here. So I want to provide to them also how to get to this section. And also, you need to make sure, like I said, you need to follow all the steps that I'm providing you guys with or else you're not going to be able to get the summon. So actually, you need to go up and I was almost went down so you need to go up here and then take care of this guy boom 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 and then after here there's another uh, boss that you take care of um, collect that grace point now we're in the volcano manner uh, we're gonna uh, pull down this lever we're gonna go up this way and then from here just follow my lead and we're gonna need to collect another seed um, for our dung the eater um, also, guys, there is several uh, quest lines for Dunk the Eater. This is actually the second one, the third one that we provide in the channel. So if you want to know the other one, where is where you get his armor, follow that one. But if you do that, then you're not going to be able to get this um, quest line. And you're not going to be able to get the, the summon itself. Um, so, but... We have a video also coming up with later that's going to show you how you are able to get both of them. So turn in your ski to, uh, key to, uh, keystone and then jump through here. Make sure you got your parkour skills up to A+. Plus. Jump around. And there's a mini mean guy there trying to knock us out. So we take care of him. And then we're going to go down. We're going to keep going down, uh, down, down, down. Jump around. Jump down. So now... Um, from here we go through this section now if they get you those guys get you they're gonna eat, kill you so uh, from there there's the seat up ahead and it wasn't able to film it because um, I forgot in the editing but 
up ahead there was a one guy sitting and he had the seat so next seat is actually here that we need to go uh, follow my lead this is going to be by the prayer room in the earth three uh, and then jump through here and then uh, follow my lead as I'm showing you guys I played this video a little bit fast forward because I didn't want to make it like into a 30 to 45 minute video so more like an under 20 minute video so if this is too fast for you guys just go in the YouTube settings and click on the settings and put it like a 0.5 or 0.75 so next uh, we need to go to another location in by the um, prayer room jump through here and then you need to jump here and then turn around and then you'll see it right there on the little corner jump through there and then boom we jump and we find our next section where we need to locate um, um, this one thing the the seed bed and then after that guys what we need to do next is we need to head out to yes back to down the eater but where he is in the cell in the dungeon down there so we need to go back if you don't know how to remember going back i'm showing you guys here how you can go back so we're going up the ladder and then around the corner that's where he is now this is where you might make the mistake so what you do is you talk to him he says here oh you talk to him and then all of a sudden you have the seeds right do not give him the seeds do not okay this is where this is going to end for now but do not give him the seed bed do not okay do not give him the seed bed curse do not guys leave the controller off so next step is we need to go to Rani, and we need to start off her quest we don't need to complete her quest but we just need to start it and then we need to talk to this guy here who he has our next step which he's very important so after you talk to him you need to go back to you need to go to his castle so now we go around here guys if you don't know how to get to the castle well here it is i'm just showing you all the steps i just want to be as detailed as i can because i mean if you want this summon it's going to take you a while but i want to make sure that you get you talk to syllabus and he said oh you know so you're here for blah 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 they like to talk too much so pretty much what we want from him is the solution that he's going to be providing to see that accept the task then after you accept the task he says oh okay now that you have accepted the task i have to guess i have to work with you and then he gives us the syllabus potion not solution sorry i apologize for that so we now we go back to dong the eater and in this case once we talk to him we get two options we get the seed bed and we also get the syllabus potion that we can give to him now give him the potion after you give him the potion come to this point where i just selected on the map itself follow my lead and there is a guy that's gonna try to uh shoot uh, he shoots magic at you so kill him once you kill him this guy right here once you kill him the ground is going to open up and then you're going to be able to see the opening you'll see once i kill him boom okay so kill him see that it opened up go down through there what you need to do here is a just read this do not do anything else read what it says there after that there is a um there um hit the wall because it's a, a, a imaginary wall and that's it go there don't do anything else then go back to him and talk to him and say oh you know what um i already gave the potion to uh I believe it's uh, Nephilim. You'll see it here. What I'm showing to you guys, because what we're gonna try to do is trick the system in a way. So once we're here, we say you know about Nephilim. So it's, oh, okay, you gave Nephilim the potion. Yes, you know, blah blah blah. But we actually didn't do that. We gave it to, you know, um, Dung the Eater this time around. So we then we ask him about what about the you know about the chambers. Once you ask him about the chambers. He's going to provide you with a puppet that you can choose from. As you see, he gives you two. Just choose whatever you want. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Now, the next steps are very important. After you do this, try to purchase everything that he has in his inventory um, and then go back out. Um, I realized that when I came back, it didn't work. So what you actually 
need to do is you need to go to a grace point and rest. Once you rest, um, see that? I didn't get anything, but I was able to just purchase everything that he has. But I went back to a rest point, rested, came back to him, and now I'm able to say, you know what? I, I, I want another new puppet. I want a new puppet. This is where you get Dong the Eater puppet because we all gave we already gave him that potion, and that potion turned him into a puppet. And now we got ourselves probably one of the best, or maybe the best, uh, summon that you can use. You you see how tanky it was, but if you check out the video that we have in the description below, you'll see how tanky and how broken this summon is. It's going to help you out so much. So now. To be able to get him, we need to find five um, different uh, shards. So the first shard is going to be here. You can, there's a lot more than that, but here's one of the locations. Here's another location where you can go get the next one. And then I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of them of just screenshots where you need to go. It's very simple where you need to go and find them. Nothing very hard to go. But in this one's in, uh, I just wanted to show you because... Um, you have to travel a little bit to make sure that you guys go in the correct place to be able to get the chart. So you just go around this castle and it's like around the corner. Oh, those trees were bugging me so much. So right there, you see it. Um, there is our next chart that we picked up. And then here's one of them. And then right there where I'm um, pointing, uh, here's another one on the left side of it. It's very simple. Just walk to it and you'll find it. And here is the fifth one. Once you get them all, you're going to go back to him again and you're going to talk to uh, Syllabus and then you tell him, you know what? I already got all the charts and then you want to obtain a puppet. And then there you go, guys. That is how you get the Dung the Eater puppet. You're able to turn him into a puppet. And once you turn him into a puppet, then it becomes a summon and you're able to use him anywhere. So as you see, this story takes a while because if you just did the first step, um, then you probably were gonna miss out, but it, you can also go to uh, Next Game Plus and be able to continue and do this quest once more one more time and do not turn the seeds. But in this case, just give him the potion and that's it. That's all you got to do to be able to get the summon of Dung the Eater and turn him into a puppet and become a summon. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you think about this? I think it's very awesome that we able to get him as a summon. He's very broken at this time. He's going to be able to help you throughout your playthrough. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.